You know, this streak is amazing to me. I don't think it gets talked about enough. And the Orioles yeah. were the only team in baseball last year that were not swept, not one time. And so it's on the line tonight. So Parker, start number five for the 24-year-old at the big league level. Second start at home. And as we showed you in our open, his first start at Nationals Park, seven scoreless against Houston. Hasn't got many easy opposing lineups Ew. sent against him so far. And he'll face another stiff test here tonight. Gunnar Henderson to lead it off for the O's. Who grounds it to the right side. Garcia gets a glove on it, but can't pick it. And a leadoff single for Gunnar Henderson. And now Adley Rutschman stands in. Now a ground ball to short. Abrams, Garcia, Manassas. 6-4-3 off the bat of Rutschman, and there's two down. Fly ball out to right. Eddie Rosario. No runs, one hit, a double play, and nobody's left. Middle of the first in the nation's capital, Baltimore nothing. Washington coming up. Yeah, and there's your right-hander, Kyle Bradish. Had a career year last year, 12 wins, 2.83 ERA. We mentioned it finished fourth in the Cy Young, averaged a strikeout per inning pitch, and got off to a good start this year against the Yankees. His first time out here in 2024. Same lineup that Davey Martinez has put out each of the last two ball games. Produced a win, so why mess with it? Jacob Young fights one off and threw the right side for a base hit. Nationals ran all over the place last night on Corbin Burns and the Orioles. We'll see how aggressive Jacob Young here brings up CJ. Oh. That one hit him. Couldn't get out of the way of the slider that was chasing him. And the Nats will have two on with nobody out. Here's Luis Garcia hitting third of the order standing in. He has been red hot hitting 330 now eighth in the National League tenth in the majors. Both runners go as Garcia rolls over a ground ball to first. Jacob Young will take a turn around third but head back. Productive out from Luis Garcia Jr. And there's two in scoring position with one out. Nick Sinzel, he gets the DH roll today. And that is strike three call. In the middle of the play, 97. Radish with his best fastball of the inning. K. Senzel on three pitches. And so that's the kind of efficiency he was looking for with two strikes. Senzel is gone, and now Radish will try and strand the two in scoring position and keep this a nothing nothing game. The one, two. Fastball, knee high, strike three call. Bradish got out of it. It was a rough start for Kyle Bradish. Let the first two reach. Double steal and a ground out gets him his second and third, but then Bradish holds the line. Parker just misses. Santander draws his 11th walk of the year, and he is a leadoff base runner here in the second. Well, Parker gave up an infield hit to start the first, got a double play grounder off the bat of Adley Rutschen on, on the next pitch. See if he can do it again as Jordan Westberg stands in. Ground ball deep in the hole. Abrams has it backhand, one hop throw to Garcia. Out is the play at second base. A heck of a play by Abrams to his right, toward the hole, backhands it, and then a one hop throw to Garcia. Playing it like a first baseman, and that's all they get on that play. But for a moment there, to, to it didn't look like you'd get anything. Yeah, to get anything there is great. You were not going to get an out at first. So now with one out, Jorge Mateo flies this one out to deep center. Jacob Young tearing back onto the track. He has it. Throw comes into first, but back easily is Westberg. And there's two down. Two outs now. And the Oriole fans that are here are booing for Colton Kowser. That is booing Nationals fans, not booing. Swing a fly ball to well to left field. Going back is Winker, still back, and it's over his head. One up off the wall. Heading for third is Westberg getting the green light. Abrams relay to the plate. The play, he is out at the plate. And if that one holds, the inning is over on an amazing relay throw by C.J. Abrams. Winker to Abrams to Ruiz, and they cut down Westberg at the plate. So the Nationals have a leadoff base runner. And so now here is K-Bert Ruiz. K-Bert Ruiz, a busted bat, sends it over the head of the leaping Henderson. That'll feel good for K-Bert. Now two on for the Nets for the second straight inning. That'll bring up rookie third baseman Trey Lipscomb. Swing a ground ball toward the middle. That's going to go through into center field, a base hit. Nationals will take the lead first. Manessis around third coming home. He scores on a single up the middle for Trey Lipscomb, driving in his sixth run of the year. And the Nationals do it again. Scoring here in the bottom of the second for the second night in a row. It's the Nationals one and the Orioles nothing. Two outs, bases empty. Here's Santander. Santander hits this deep in the left field, hooking towards the corner, and that baby's gone. A long solo home run off the bat of Anthony Santander. 
crushed down the line, and this game tied at one. And it puts Ruiz in scoring position, although you might need a pretty good hit to score him. Lipscomb found a hit up the middle to drive in a run in the second. This one out towards right center field on the fly. Oh, Santander! Yes. Stop it right now. This man wants the game for himself. He ties it up. A ridiculous snatch. Wow. And he's going to get high fives all over the field for that one. So Ruiz at third with two outs for Jacob Young. 2-2 back up the middle, charging in on a bounce. Henderson to first. Forget it. The Orioles defense stays sharp. Yeah, outstanding. Anthony Santander, folks, doing it on both sides of the ball. A homer in the top half and Rob's extra base hissing. In the bottom half, we got a new ball game, one to one. Eight strikeouts for Bradish, and they're two gone in this fifth inning of a 1-1 game. Fastball, outside corner, strike three called. Bradish just came this side of the fifth inning. He saves his best for what might be his last. As Nick Senzel, Luis Garcia, C.J. Abrams disposed by the cave. Top of the order for the Orioles, 1-1 game. Good ball game again here in Washington, D.C. One to Henderson. Uh -oh. I thought he got that one. Oh, Boy, he that just is missed tough. It. Eddie Rosario. Oh, he did get up. it. He did get it. Are you kidding me? What a sneaky shot. Gunnar Henderson fools absolutely everyone. And he takes the lead for the Orioles. His 11th home run of the season. Can you believe it? I mean, I knew it off the bat. But what the heck was Rosario doing him right? He'll face Colton Kowser, who's a two for two hitter so far tonight. Infield and runner at third. Colton Kowser sends this one to left on the run. Winker with the scoop, but tagging up in the slide into home. He's safe. Jordan Westberg will not be beat twice. He gets it done this time, and the O's make it 3-1. And now Kimbrell and the Orioles need just one more to extend their series record to 103 straight sets without being swept. Now the Nationals down to their final out at Andy Rosario. Sends one high in the air to right center. He did. This ball's hit well. This ball is out of here. Andy Rosario is second home run of the home stands, and it has the Nats back within one here in the night. And now the winning run is on base. Brandon Hyde is coming out to the mound, and he's going to get Craig Kimbrell. Two outs recorded. Rosario homers. Kimbrell walks Lipscomb. Nunez steals second. And Jacob Young now representing the winning run at first base, a guy with even more speed. Keegan Aiken to set up a lefty-lefty matchup with C.J. Abrams. Abrams right side. It's through. Nunez in the score. The Nats have come back here in the night. We play on in our nation's capital. And so here we go. A matchup between two close friends in Hunter Harvey and Ryan Mountcastle. Infield in for Washington, 3-3 in the 11th. And there's a fly ball, charged to deep left field. Back goes Winker, and this one is out of here! Mountcastle got his good buddy once, and now he has gotten his good buddy twice! It's a two-run, go-ahead homer, and the Orioles have taken a 5-3 lead in the 11th inning. You can't write it any better than that. Rosario takes it low. What an at-bat. It's a hell of an at -bat. From down 0-2 to working a walk to put him at the corners with one down. And the Nationals breathe life again. Runners on first and third, one out. And here comes Ildemaro Vargas. Slaps one down the left field line. This ball's into the corner and fail. It goes out of play. It'll be an automatic double. What a terrible break for the Nats. One run comes in. Two in scoring position, but you have to think Rosario would have been flying around third with a chance to tie the game if that ball stayed in the yard. Jacob Young with two in scoring position. Shallow in right. Here's McKenna. Rosario's coming home. Throw to the plate. Not in time. The nasty Nats tie it up again. Jorge Mateo's going to lead the inning off. Westberg, the automatic runner at second base. Line drive, base hit left field. Westbrook at third base, he's getting waved in, and the throw will be cut off. Westbrook scores standing, and then it gets away. Mateo going for second, he's in there, and then the throw goes into right field. Mateo takes off for third, he'll make it there standing. How do you like that? The Orioles take a 6-5 to five lead. Nats have been so clean defensively tonight. Not there. Kowser takes a ball, it gets away from the catcher. Mateo's running home, and he will score. 7-5 to five Baltimore in the wild pitch. 
C.J. Abrams will be the free runner at second, and so Luis Garcia comes to the plate representing the tying run. Swing a long drive to right. Way back goes McKenna on the run. It's over his glove and one hop off the fence. Abrams will come in. He'll score. Garcia to second, and the Nationals are within a run. Garcia clapping his hands and dancing at second, an RBI double. It's now Baltimore seven, the Nationals six. They get a foul tip held on to by the catcher Rutschman. That's one. Away for Jesse Winker. Winker hits his high in the air, shallow right. McKenna trots in, he's under it, and he will make the catch for out number two. All right, here we are. Orioles just one out away from pulling this one off. Runner goes, Manessis out to right field. Ryan McKenna playing back, makes the catch, and the Orioles survive in 12. Wow, what a game, but the streak mail is intact, making 103 series consecutive without being swept.